Remember that a quadratic equation is an equation which has quadratic expressions on both sides. For example, 3x squared plus 4x minus 3 equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2 is a quadratic equation. For any equation, I can always move all of the terms to one side, leaving me with a 0 on the other side. Subtracting both sides by x squared, I am left with 2x squared on the left hand side. Adding 6x to both sides gives me 10x on the left and subtracting 2 from both sides gives me minus 5 on the left hand side. And this is now equal to 0. Therefore, a quadratic equation can always be written as a times x squared plus b times x plus c equal to 0. In my example, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 10, and c is equal to minus 5. With this notation, we say that a quadratic equation is a reduced quadratic equation if a is equal to 1. My example is not a reduced quadratic equation, but a general quadratic equation but it can be turned into a reduced one simply by dividing both sides by 2. That gives me the reduced quadratic equation x squared plus 5x minus 2.5 is 0. It's common to use the symbols a, b, and c if we are working with a quadratic equation that is not reduced. The reduced quadratic equation typically uses the symbols p and q, and it's written as x squared plus px plus q is equal to 0. In my reduced equation, p is 5 and q is minus 2.5. This lecture deals with reduced quadratic equations only. Let's begin by introducing the term discriminant. For a reduced quadratic equation, the discriminant d is defined as p squared minus 4q. For example, in the equation x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0, we have p equal to 1, q is equal to minus 2, thus d is equal to 1 squared minus 4 times minus 2, which is 9. In the equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 is 0, we have p minus 2 and q is 1 d is then minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1, which is 0. As a final example, the equation x squared plus x plus 2 is 0, where p is 1 and q is 2, d is equal to 1 squared minus 4 times 2, which is minus 7. The sign of d determines how many solutions the reduced quadratic equation has. If d is greater than 0, then the equation will have two solutions. If d is equal to 0, it will have one solution. And if d is strictly negative, it will have no solution among the real numbers. The solutions are as follows. When d is greater than 0, they are minus p plus minus the square root of d divided by 2. When d is 0, the single solution is given by minus p over 2. For our examples, the first discriminant was strictly positive and it has solutions minus 1 plus minus square root of 9 divided by 2 or minus 1 plus minus 3 divided by 2. The plus sign gives us x equal to 1 and the minus sign gives us x is equal to minus 2. The second discriminant was 0, and the equation has a single solution. Minus p is 2, and the solution is x is equal to 1. The third discriminant was negative, which means that this equation has no solutions. Two special cases of reduced quadratic equations are worth remembering. If p is equal to 0, then my reduced quadratic equation reads x squared plus q is equal to 0. This is simple to solve. Move q to the other side and x squared is equal to minus q. 
take the square root of both sides and x is plus minus square root of minus q. This equation has no solution if q is strictly positive. The second special case is when q is equal to zero, when the equation reads x squared plus px is equal to zero. The left hand side can be factored into x times x plus p, from which we see that the solutions are given by x is equal to zero and x is equal to minus p.